Hello my loves, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that your family and your loved ones are healthy, happy and safe. So I'm coming back to you today with another pick a card reading. And before starting the reading, I have a very important uh, announcement to make. When it comes to private readings, they're not going to be possible starting from the 28th of December 2022. So I just wanted to let you know that and uh, I just want to also... Um, reiterate my uh, gratitude for all of you for your support for your encouragement those couple of years were absolutely amazing and uh, like from the way that I have started and uh, it, it was for me almost inconceivable that uh, I'm going to be getting such like um, amazing support from all of you so I really would like to thank you so much but um, for due to my life circumstances that are getting busier and busier uh, I just want, like, uh, I have to be responsible and um, stop the private readings for now. When it comes to collective readings, they're going to be, like, as uh, always, getting shared on the channel. And for those of you that have already uh, booked a private reading with me and that have received uh, a reading or that are going to be receiving a reading in the next, um, like, weeks or next days, uh, they're also going to be up on the channel so you can access them wh whenever you want. So they're not going to be uh, deleted or anything of the sort. All right. So, yeah, I just wanted to start with that. And for today's reading, it's going to be all about your first time with your future spouse. We're going to look into the energies before, during and after. And you have in front of you three options to choose from. Uh, you can pick one option or more, the ones that are going to be putting your attention the most. And of course, if you would need more time, you can just pause the video, meditate on those options and see which one or which ones are going to be today yours to watch. As for me, I'm going to start right away with the first option. Hello, my dear option number one. So if you have chosen the first option or the card of the knot, welcome guys to your reading. So before starting the reading, I just would like to make a very quick announcement is after the 28th of December, private readings are not going to be possible anymore. So I just wanted to let you know. And yeah, let's start right away by answering the question. So you and your future spouse and your first time together, and let's look into the energies before the actual intimate moment. The first thing that I have heard is whatever the uh, time or maybe the um, stage of your relationship that you're going to be in before doing it, I feel like it's going to be solid. I'm hearing solid. So for some of you, it could be that you are waiting for marriage. So this could be like your wedding night or... Um, like at a time where the both of you are going to be actually knowing each other very well. For some of you, it could be like uh, getting engaged or maybe moving in together. Or even for some of you, generally speaking, it's going to be as compared maybe to other people that you have been with or maybe to just for them, typically speaking, it's going to be uh, at a place where you're going to be very much uh, very comfortable with each other, knowing a lot about each other and also knowing a lot about each other's um intentions i'm hearing so it could be also that um, uh, you are maybe trying to reach a level of um, familiarity with the people that you would like to get intimate with or just to be comfortable enough to let yourself go and to just relax and be with the person without really overthinking the situation or maybe the uh, actual moment so yeah i also feel like when it comes to this first time when you're going to be together intimately um there is definitely some planning going on something that is planned something that you already know about and i don't know why i've got this uh, message that the, the bed more specifically the bed in which you're going to be actually having your first intimate moment with each other it's going to be your bed for like after your marriage and for a considerable considerable period of time so for some of you it could be that uh, if you're going to be as an example um going to their place or them going to your place whatever the actual uh, like physical place in which you're going to be uh, having your first intimate moment with each other uh, it's gonna be like there and uh, you, you're gonna be there also for uh, a considerable period of time or maybe you're going to move in with them at a certain point in time so this is really what i see but I, I really feel like it could be during or after where there is some sort of a planning but let's look into let's not uh, jump over to the next steps <laughs> and look into before before please how are things and i, go, I really feel like you're going to be very comfortable very comfortable 
yeah the empress yeah the empress is the like the wife the mother it's this is what i see i really feel like you're gonna feel that this place is familiar to you this is your own place as an example for those of you that are going to be waiting to, uh, for marriage to actually uh, like uh, have um, your first intimate moment with your future spouse but in here with this empress uh, i really feel like you're gonna be in a very solid Sit, like a uh, relationship with your future spouse and also i feel like with this empress there might be a lot of things going on a lot of beautification like the uh, home is going to be decorated beautifully uh, i also feel like with this empress is something that is with intent so you're, you're gonna know it's not something that is unexpected something that is gonna come out out of the blue or something that is uh, like that you're gonna improvise or something no 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 not at all this is something that both of you are gonna know you're gonna know at the, uh, this day maybe uh, my uh girlfriend or my boyfriend they're gonna come uh, over and we're gonna spend the night our first night together or this is really what i see like there is a lot of um uh, predictability when it comes to but in the best way possible also with the <laughs> empress card i also feel like there might be you might have uh, a very delicious dinner there might be roses around there might be like uh candlelight um maybe candles or it could be that you're gonna have maybe a candlelight dinner before um this is really really something that uh it's gonna i, I, I really i'm hearing the mood setting the mood <clears throat> the lovers yes king of swords wow look at that i really feel like the king of swords in here it could be your future spouse if uh, you are looking for a masculine in here in this reading uh, but just generally the king of swords is going to be the one doing all the planning for when it comes to the empress is someone that is going to be enjoying the plan enjoying the things that are already organized that are already going to be set up and with this lovers i really feel like it's not a, like it's really giving me um love actual love vibes from this card it's not about choices it's not about decisions not at all i really feel like in here also you're gonna be making the decision to actually be together or maybe to move on to the next step in your relationship and this is something that uh maybe you're going to be uh talking about you're gonna be actually knowing about it's again not something that is going to be coming out of the blue and uh, also i feel like when it comes to the king of swords this is really something that your future spouse and they are represented here by the king of swords if you feel like you are the one represented in here please flip the uh scenario around but generally speaking like uh, for the readings uh, you are women looking for men if it is not the case then please um take the information and it's gonna uh, in the way that is going to be suiting your uh, situation the most but i feel like in here with the king of swords he's like the mastermind he's like more specifically like a he like an actual man not even a masculine so i feel like they might be doing certain things that are really going to be outside of the book the box it could be maybe certain decorations or as you can see in here she, this woman she's holding uh two bags so it could be a gift it could be something that is even I, i'm hearing with this particular gift it's something that is for the long run so in here it could be your engagement night it could be also maybe uh, if it is your wedding night they might have a like a special gift that they're going to be giving you it could be i'm hearing a necklace a necklace especially in here with the lovers because in the tradition tarot there is uh like an angel between two people i feel like they might uh, give you uh, i'm hearing an ornament of protection it could be a necklace with uh, a symbol of an angel or one specific symbol that is in your culture or maybe in where you're coming from it symbolizes uh that uh, like they're giving you as like uh for protection or you're just um like a, a like a blessed ornament i'm hearing let's get some more cards so before please your smile unlocked my heart i really feel like you're gonna be absolutely happy and um uh, uh almost floaty when you're gonna see how much thought uh, your person have put into making things together getting things that you actually enjoy maybe you're going to be telling them like mm, very randomly like one day that oh i actually love strawberries and even if 
um, it's not going to be maybe strawberry season or something they're gonna make sure to have something very special that you actually love and enjoy uh, it could be uh, like one specific type of chocolate from one specific a boutique or whatever the case might be i really feel like they're gonna put a bright smile on your face <laughs> romance yeah I, I really feel with the lovers a lot of romance in the most traditional way in the most beautiful way again uh very positively uh i feel like this uh, very romantic uh, uh given um it, like this uh, energy i'm hearing the energy of embrace together we are stronger yeah, I really feel like, again, with this together, we are stronger. It's almost like an affirmation that someone would say to another. You have talked about your relationship. You have talked about where you would want to go, how you'd want like to uh, develop the connection between the both of you. And this is really a moment that you have planned, a moment that you know that it, like uh, at that time where this is going to happen. Let's get just one more. But this is going to be in uh, uh, like your home, their home, uh, an actual like uh, home that you're going to feel very comfortable and familiar in. Lots of familiarity in here. Oh, wow. Marriage. Yeah, for some of you, for many of you, actually, you might be waiting for marriage or you might at least... Uh, wait uh, until your relationship is going to be quite solid before moving into this step of being intimate with your partner. Absolutely. So let's get some cards right now about the actual deed <laughs> and see how is it going to be? How is it going to be? Please, let's get one major arcana to look at the energies between the both of you. So I see uh, I'm going to get one card for you. The actual intimate moment please how is it gonna be like how about you the star that was upside down the star how about them wow death card your person they're very intense very intense as you can see in here they're very much drawn to you even i'm hearing you're not someone really that you show your body a lot or you are quite modest in the way that you show your uh, sexy side or you show your forms uh, and just see you know for the first time completely naked it's really going to be um you can see i, I don't even uh, have to say anything like look how intense <laughs> intense this card actually looks in with this eye that is like popping out of this particular card i really feel like when it comes to you they might have imagined how things are gonna go between the both of you they might have fantasized about the both of you but being there right in front of you seeing all your forms seeing uh like you in the most raw kind of way it's really as you can see in here with this one it's going to be very very exciting for them uh, you can see in here there is the the wand and also this um, like this woman she's swimming in water i really feel like when it comes to the both of you uh first of all with this death card i feel like your person they're gonna absolutely take their time they're gonna enjoy every minute they're gonna enjoy every inch of your body and also i feel like when it comes to you you're going to be really in the moment i feel like with this star card and also um it, it's gonna be even for some of you that have already had maybe sexual experiences in the past i really feel like there is some sort of a cut or a before and after uh, when it comes to this particular intimate moment because it's going to be really uh, re illuminating your mind to how pleasurable and how exciting and how uh, meshed two people really can get um but uh, i also would like to say that there's going to be a lot of expectation <laughs> when it comes to this moment from both sides i'm hearing from your side but most definitely from your person's side so how is your first time is going to be? I'm hearing not from this deck, from this one. All right. So your first moment together, please. How is it going to be like? Three of Wands. Ooh. So for those of you that... Uh, 
are gonna be actually maybe uh, waiting for marriage to have your first intimate moment with your spouse there is a possibility of you getting pregnant but i really feel like there is a sense of longevity when it comes to this particular uh, relationship generally speaking and more specifically when it comes to this moment that you're going to share with each other is something that is for the long run something that you have thought about something that you have seen the horizons uh, when it comes to you being with your person and vice versa they see that this relationship really is uh, for the long run they see the longevity in you two being together and also with this page of cups i really feel like um honestly with this card uh, i feel like both of you at this moment when you're gonna be together intimate with each other you're not gonna mind at all uh, I'm hearing I don't mind having a child with this person, but at the contrary, it's something that is going to be make, making me absolutely happy. It's really someone that you're going to see as uh, possibly being like you're going to imagine them as being the father of your children. Vice versa, they're going to imagine you as being the mother of their children. And we have seen at the uh, early on in your um, reading that uh, like you are represented by the Empress. Let's get some more cards. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. I really feel like the feminine, if you are the feminine, that this is you. <laughs> it's going to be quite uh, passive. It's going to be more uh, receptive, more the one that is enjoying the act. And the masculine is going to be the one doing the action or making like uh, the actual... Um, like uh, I'm hearing missionary. I'm hearing uh, also vanilla. I'm hearing uh, like traditional. But again, uh, there are certain things that have certain stigma or certain words that ha that are stigmatized, unfortunately. But when it comes to you, it's really something that you're absolutely going to enjoy. It's something really that uh, is going to be. Uh, I'm hearing it's almost like something that was charging for quite a bit of time. And now it's like uh, out in the open or maybe like, uh, especially when it comes to your orgasms, I feel like you might do it even like three times in uh, or in here with the Knight of Wands. Uh, um, yeah, I feel like missionary or um, doggy style. <laughs> especially with those two cards but i feel like generally speaking the feminine is going to be um, not really um like the one doing all the action but uh the the, the joy of maybe the enjoyment out of the the, the actual act it's really going to be shared between the both of you i also feel like there might be uh some oral sex with the um page of cups uh, especially when it comes to the feminine because you can see in here with those waters I feel like your partner is going to go down on you it's really going to be enjoying you especially I'm hearing this is the first time so they really would like to take their time into really making this um, moment special for you and making this moment special for them as well enemy again the card of marriage yeah in here with those two cards i feel like you're gonna see a side to your person that you have never seen before so maybe your person they are more calm more sweet more delicate but when they get get to it they're a completely different person they're more driven more fiery more intense i really feel a lot of intensity out of this particular uh, relationship generally speaking and especially after this act it's really going to be um even more intensified or the bond between the both of you it's going to be even stronger again with together we are stronger where is it here together we are stronger i really feel like this first uh, time with your future spouse is going to make your relationship like uh, just like the picture also that you have chosen for your option the 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 nod it's like a nod like you can pull it from each side and it's get, getting even stronger the more that you pull it uh, from each of those sides so let's get some more cards anything else please about the actual act reputation stone yeah, those are official cards, reputation, stone, like an actual contract, an actual home. So I really feel like it's going to be uh, official 
generally speaking, whether you are married or not. For many of you, I see marriage, especially here with this number four, five right next to marriage is like a change of status uh, from getting from being engaged to getting married from being girlfriend and girl, uh, boyfriend or maybe girlfriend and girlfriend whatever the case might be from being uh from dating to actually being engaged i feel like there is a change of status between the both of you before this um uh, first time before you're going to be enjoying each other for the first time and uh, also with those two cards I really feel like with this number four um, again the place that you're going to be doing it for the first time it's going to be your actual home it's going to be a place where you're going to feel very comfortable you might have even visited or seen this place before so it's not going to be a foreign place to you uh, and also I feel like with those um, symbols um I'm hearing signature. So there is something really official between the both of you. And even like it's going to be only a matter of time also with those stairs before the actual marriage or before uh, like I'm hearing sealing the deal. There is going to be an actual contract between the both of you. But also I feel like with this woman, as you can see in here, she's laid down, she's relaxed, she's comfortable, she's in her own element. And this is really what I see with this number four and also with those stairs, I see that the masculine, they're really going to be taking their time. Especially I'm hearing with this uh, queen of pentacles, if um, one of you, uh, and also with the star, if uh, like the feminine is not going to have a lot of experience or just generally speaking, being cautious with getting physical with other people or maybe getting physical for the first time. And I'm seeing in here, it's going to be uh, the case for many of you that are watching this particular option. But uh, generally, I really feel like in here, uh, there is a lot of comfort, a lot of relaxation and also a lot of healing I see with those three cards in terms of uh, how deep you can connect to someone, how uh, mesh again you can get with someone without feeling like um, maybe you are uh, going too far in terms of your uh, sexual connections or anything of the sort. I also feel like one of you could be quite conservative to be honest with those two cards, especially in here the feminine um, Again, depending on your culture, depending on where you are from, it's going to be looked at as more conservative. And of course, depending on the community and the culture, it differs uh, in terms of uh, what it actually means. But this is just like generally speaking. Anything else, please, about the actual intimate moment? We can do it. <laughs> shadow i feel like um it's not gonna be like when it comes to your room it, you might maybe use just one um uh maybe candles or like i, I see that the light uh, lights are quite dim so I, I don't see that maybe you're going to be doing it uh during the day or, or maybe uh, with the lights on. I feel like there might be certain lights, but uh, I also fe feel like with the shadow and uh, with the Knight of Wands, I really <laughs> feel like when it comes to you, your person might be someone that works out, that has like abs and uh, um, that be might they might be quite shredded like where, when it comes to their body and with this shadow i feel like with this uh like uh, atmosphere or maybe the, the lights that are dim you might see the lines very um like the, i'm hearing definition so you, you might see like the definition in their body and also with the shadow I'm, i feel like when it comes to you as well they might be like when it comes to your shapes your forms and the curvature of your body i feel like you're more on the curvy side or the feminine is more on the curvy side someone that uh uh sensual i'm hearing I'm hearing also delicious, so your person definitely are going to enjoy uh, every second <laughs> of this moment. And with this, we can do it. I really feel like when it comes to the both of you, trust. When it comes to the both of you, uh, you're going to really, um, after this particular act, you're going to realize that you have made the right choice that you have made maybe the right decision and 
coming together and wanting to take things to the next level. Oh, wow. So let's look into the energies after. Uh, where is this deck? Ah, oh, here. After, please. How are things going to be like afterwards? The universe, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is a whole new cycle that has ended, completed, and right now it's a new phase in your life again. Uh, this is coming up like over and over again for for those of you that are going to be uh, getting married before having uh, your first mo moments with your spouse. It's going to be like this is like marks the start of us being together as a husband and wife as husband and husband as a wife and wife it really depends so let's get some cards the universe wow ten of wands eight of swords <laughs> I'm hearing it's a lot to take in, so... <laughs> the lovers, wow. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Ten of Cups, absolutely. At the bottom of the deck, we have success. The Six of Wands. You're going to be on the top. Like, whatever the fears... I really feel like the feminine might have quite a bit of... Um, reservations generally speaking when it comes to the uh, sexual act but uh, afterwards there is a i'm hearing a, a sense of great relief but in here with this burden uh, someone might be sore the next day <laughs> and also with isolation in here with this uh, eight of wands you might stay at home you might uh, i'm hearing you might even um like not leave home at all like your your place at all for the next day just stay at home having a meal, maybe preparing a cup of coffee for each other, uh, just relaxing again, going back to, to bed and doing it again. I really feel like with this Ten of Cups, um, there is again this feeling of uh, floatiness, feeling like you are not <laughs> touching the ground. And also with this lover, it's, it's an absolutely... Yeah, with uh, as you can see in here with this mark, being marked again uh, 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 like um, a set deal. I'm hearing also with success can symbolize getting into contracts. So yeah, wow, Fortuna, happiness, luck, good fortune. This is amazing. Officer, yeah, look at the, the King of Swords. <laughs> yeah, the plan was successful. <laughs> it was a success, like victory, whatever the case might be, whatever the thing that your spouse, they're going to prepare, they're going to plan for, they're going to organize. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. And also, I feel like they're going to be very happy. I'm hearing with their performance, especially in here with the Six of Wands. <laughs> um, and uh, I I'm hearing... This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing your first look when you're going to wake up the day after. <laughs> it's going to be the answer to everything. <laughs> so let's get uh, <laughs> some more cards. Question mark. Forgiveness. One more. Again, this smile, like when you're going to wake up and have the brightest smile on your face, it's really, let's get this one as well. Let it go. Yeah. The feminine in here, she might be more like, again, reluctant into open up, into letting go. Uh, but I really feel like afterwards, um, it's almost like someone when they imagine things uh, as bigger than what they truly are and then when things happen they're gonna feel like oh but that, that was fun that was great actually <laughs> 
so it is, maybe the feminine she is gonna overthink it or maybe think about it for quite a bit of time before you're going to be actually doing it but uh, again with your smile unlocked uh, my heart uh, this is like your smile when you're gonna wake up it's gonna be the answer to everything it's gonna be like mission successful <laughs> So that was your reading, my dear option number one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you lots of love. If you enjoyed the reading, make sure to tip. And uh, yeah, that was all. Uh, I'm sending you love. And uh, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Ace of Wands, yeah, Adrenaline, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Seven of Swords. Yeah, it could be really going to like skiing or again, um, like uh, like Disneyland, like an entertainment park where you go and uh, enjoy yourself like uh, like a kid again. <laughs> But I feel like after this particular day, you're going to feel, uh, th uh, first of all, you're going to feel that uh, I feel a lot of activity, physical activity. So it could be that you're going to be running around, walking a lot, like all day long, doing certain activities. I don't see you just, even if it is uh, like on the beach or maybe if you go to the beach, you're going to actually play volleyball or you're going to play like whatever the case might be, I see you being very active during the day. With this page of pentacles, I see also that there is some sort of, um, I'm hearing a rock in terms of jewelry or uh, oh, something that is won, something that one of you is going to win. Like uh, it could be if it is as an example, a festival, or if it is maybe a place where, you know, when people like shoot, uh, like the, um, they aim into like one specific spot. And then if they aim right, they get maybe uh, a teddy bear or they get something. This is what I see. <laughs> I see that you might get something out of uh, something that maybe your spouse is going to win or you're going to win. But um, I, I see some sort of uh, also uh, a souvenir. This is what I see with the uh, page of pentacles. So let's get some more cards. How are things are going to be? Uh, from this deck, how are things are gonna be before? Yeah, journey, and it says in here a trip. You're gonna go on a trip, thief. Oh, maybe it's not something that you're gonna expect after all. I feel like if you're going to travel as an example with friends or with a group of people, maybe you're going to sneak, especially with those two cards, uh, sneak together and do it maybe uh, on without uh, anybody knowing about it. Or maybe there is going to be a moment where they're just the both of you. Or uh, also, I feel like there is some sort of an unexpected event or unexpected even confession for some of you that you're not going to see coming. If you're going to be, as an example, dating this person and going with them in this particular trip, they might actually confess to you in this particular, uh, during this particular trip. For some of you also, maybe giving you some sort of, um, uh, I'm hearing uh, like a, something that is going to symbolize their love, something that is going to symbolize their affection. So again, it could be something that they're going to win, or it could be also for some of you, maybe a gift, or for some of you, even like you might get engaged like during this trip, which is, which is going to be absolutely sweet and uh, memorable and, and really special. <laughs> so there is something, as you can see in here, this man, He's having a little bag and he's trying to sneak it out of this uh, house. So your spouse, they're going to be sneaky about something. They're going to prepare for something without you knowing about it. So as an example, afterwards, when you're going to be returning to your um, uh, room, maybe you're going to find uh, like uh, champagne. Maybe you're going to find something very sweet, something that uh, your future spouse might be planning for you or just uh, generally speaking during this day there's gonna be a very significant surprise all right anything else please words of affirmation i feel like in here with this words of affirmation uh, they, they're gonna say something that you already know but now it's gonna be said it's gonna be out on the open it's gonna be set as well uh, uh it could be really a love confession it could be that they're going to be telling you like i really would love this relationship to go for the long run i really care about you i really would like to be with you for a very long time for some of you it could be really a, an engagement um like uh they're gonna like propose to you during this day xo is xo yeah a surprise a very pleasant surprise obviously so yeah, generally speaking, before the actual act, you're going to, 
this is a hotel, this is a resort, this is a place away from home. There's going to be a surprise, a lot of physical activity during the day, a lot of excitement. Uh, uh, adrenaline is really up. <laughs> You're going to like run around like a, like a kid, as I have said earlier. And again, there's going to be a surprise awaiting you. All right. So let's look into the actual act. Here it is. How is it going to be? Please, for my dear option number two, how is it going to be like their first time with their spouse? The moon. Ooh. The ace of wands. King of pentacles. Five of swords. And the two of swords at the bottom of the deck we have the empress so it's first of all i just want to mention something very briefly for the first reading we've got the empress representing the viewer uh, or maybe the feminine in the relationship here again we have the empress i really generally speaking i i feel very happy that a lot of you are approaching this energy and that you're going to be in this energy when you're going to be with your future spouse and when you're going to be with the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with uh, I, i'm i'm really very happy about that and i can feel the energy in the collective generally speaking that people really are determined to work on themselves to change their patterns it, it's really absolutely amazing and here again we have the empress which is brilliant <laughs> So coming back to the actual act, I really feel like in here with the King of Pentacles, there there might be like food around, there might be like a drink, uh, maybe you're going to be a little drunk with this uh, Seven of Swords, or maybe you're going to have a drink before the actual act. Also, when it comes to the moon, I feel like when it comes to the both of you, you're not going to be overthinking it, or you're not going to be actually maybe overstressing about it. It's going to be um, just uh, spontaneous. I'm hearing spontaneity with, when it comes to the both of you. And with the two of swords, someone is going to surprise you. And definitely with those two cards, I feel like the masculine or more specifically the man, if there is a man in this relationship, they're going to be, <laughs> you're not going to see it coming. <laughs> All right. So th this is very clear from those cards. It's, it's not something that you're going to expect. Uh, I don't know why, <laughs> but generally speaking, I really feel like you might, uh, you might uh, be quite surprised by uh, their size. But also I feel like with those two cards, uh, I'm hearing that the lights might be off or uh, there is like um, this, this energy of sensing more than looking or seeing or um, I'm hearing the sense, your senses are going to be um, highlighted in their senses as well so maybe you might enjoy a lot uh, maybe having both your bodies against each other or afterwards you might even like uh, um, like sleep in uh, naked afterwards uh, all night uh, i really feel like proximity and uh, bodies or maybe uh, you touching uh, each both of you touching each other's bodies and also with this five of uh, swords, uh, I feel like drunkness, not in a way that, um, not even like through alcohol or anything of the sort. I really feel like the adrenaline or how fun this day is going to be. It's going to be uh, afterwards, you're going to be almost like in this drunk, happy drunk state. <laughs> and uh, I see you really just... Um, in, like uh, like it's a continuous uh, enjoyment when it comes to this day because we got the ace of wands in the first part of the reading and now we have again the ace of wands which is like excitement passion and uh, like revived passion i'm hearing as well also with the moon and the ace of wands i really feel like uh, there are a lot of different um, elements that are going to be making this day even more special let's get some more cards Anything else, please? Stone. 
Uh, for tuna. I feel like here room service or you might find maybe um, that your bedroom is um, like beautified in a special way. Uh, I really feel like there is some third party as in maybe the hotel management or uh, someone like the place, someone that is going to be making something even more special. In here also with this Fortuna, as you can see in here, this woman, she's receiving something uh, uh, from this bird, like uh, a token of love, a token of appreciation, a token of admiration, even like for in, in devotion. I really feel like this person, they are set on you, uh, definitely in here with those two cards, because you came out as the overall energy. You came out almost like as the person that you're like um, that your person they're coming towards. Uh, and also, I feel like you might be, when you're going to be with your person, very much in your receptive energy. I feel like your person, they might enjoy a good chase and they're going to really chase you very uh, actively. And it's not really coming from a malicious um, like um, place, uh, not at all. But it's just you enjoying being the feminine and them enjoying being the masculine, being the person that is there, that wants to provide, that wants to be there for you and wants to create an environment in which you feel like I'm hearing materially comfortable. So again, a lot of money is going to be spent. As you can see in here, like this woman, she's getting showered with money. A lot of money is going to be spent during this particular uh, like trip. Uh, and also with this stone, I see pictures, I see memories, I see also again something material that you're going to be taking home and that is going to be symbolizing or being a symbol of like a beautiful memory, a beautiful uh, souvenir, uh, like it's going to be a beautiful souvenir or of this uh, one special moment that you're going to have with your future spouse. Anything else please? How about the actual act? Yeah, some money. Some money definitely is going to be spent for sure. Uh, and I feel like in here, um, it could be like a suit. It, it's not just a room. It's really some a place that is luxurious, a place where you're going to be enjoying maybe room service, where you're going to be. It's not really just like a, some exclusivity I'm hearing. <laughs> so I also feel like with this card, uh, I'm hearing satin. So the feminine might be really uh, like having, I'm hearing satin sheets. I'm hearing, um, again, it's really an experience or, or a pleasure of all the senses, uh, the smells. It, I, I feel like they might be like a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous decoration in special decoration in your room. And uh, also I feel like in here, there might be like some special drinks, some very exclusive service that you might enjoy with each other. Uh, I also feel like, I, I don't know why I got that. It's <laughs> after, um, we're going to look into the after, uh, and like uh, the energies afterwards. But what I got is after your first time, maybe um, you're going to call uh, room service and order a pizza and watch something very funny. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm hearing Family Feud. I'm hearing maybe a movie that is very funny, maybe like a, a, like a stand-up comedian that you're going to watch. But it's not going to be the end of the night. It's going to be like there's going to be a continuation afterwards. We're going to look into that uh, later on. So going back to the actual act, how is this going to be, please? Message. Again, look at this man. Hopefully, hopefully the camera is going to be picking up the details. Like uh, throwing this money or maybe spending this money in here. Yeah, there is definitely going to be uh, quite a bit of money spent during this day. And I also feel like in here, um, I'm hearing, uh, especially with the Five of Swords, uh, I'm hearing something is going to be cut short. It could be that, as an example, you're going to already start maybe undressing each other and then uh, like home service is going to be knocking on the door. Something, Someone is going to interrupt you or something is, is going to happen before you're going to be continuing the actual act. Um, let's get one more. Let's get one more. What is going to happen? Love. Wow. 
So there is definitely going to be a confession during this day. And I also feel like this is actual lovemaking. Um, I feel like when it comes to the both of you, uh, maybe you're going to uh, take your time and not really be in a rush to get into it. So maybe there is going to be like uh, having a drink, uh, actually like uh, kissing uh, i feel like you're gonna both uh, take your time but again there might be some sort of an interruption <laughs> a funny interruption again and um for when it comes to the feminine maybe you're gonna be really planning for this of course if you are identifying with the feminine in this relationship um uh, i'm hearing a silk rope or some sort of a very sexy lingerie, very sexy. I'm hearing sexy and not over revealing for some reason, especially in here with this empress. So there might be, as an example, some uh, fabric that is very soft or uh, like some sort of, but there is this feeling of uh, expensiveness or things being expensive, things being, I'm hearing also precious. How is it going to be like during the officer? I feel like your person, they might get uh, hard pretty quick. <laughs> They might get really hard even before getting all like your uh, clothes off and you might see it and like it, it's going to be a, a moment again to remember like uh, for them uh, even when you're going to start kissing they're going to be already like boom and uh, <laughs> with this message uh, I'm hearing that you, both of you are going to be quite talkative during this actual act. So in terms of the sounds, in terms of the moaning, and also in terms of like you, you are good at maybe guiding your partner or they're good at actually uh, knowing how to please their partner or uh, there is some sort of uh, healthy communication between the both of you that is going to be really uh, making the task for each other very easy. Uh, I really feel like sexually, this is the energy of two people that are uh, very open, very willing maybe to communicate the things that they want and uh, um, just to guide each other to the right spots. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get some more cards. Definitely, yeah. Forgiveness. And question mark. I feel like in here, there might be uh, during the day a lot of insinuation, a lot of teasing, a lot of touching in... Um, uh like sensitive spots <laughs> and i really feel like in here with this officer like they're gonna be rock hard when you're gonna get together uh like i'm hearing it's time for payback <laughs> i really feel like there might be something quite funny in terms of maybe teasing them during the day or as i have told you maybe sexting them for a considerable period of time and i'm here with in here um you might even say or maybe tell them like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it again, but uh, it's going to be too late, my dears. All right. With this, definitely, again, there might be a confession and there might be also like a confirmation from both sides that you would like to take this relationship maybe to the next level or that you are really seriously interested in each other. All right. So let's look into the after... The energies after the act, how are they going to be like? Afterwards, please. How are things are going to be like for the both of you afterwards?
Five of Wands, competition. Yeah, you might play cards. You might enjoy, yeah, resilience, Nine of Wands. You might play certain games or you might just have something like, I'm hearing the fun continues. <laughs> Temperance. I'm hearing they're going to tell you, like, who's talking right now. <laughs> like, they're going to prove a point, all right? So, establishment, ten of pentacles, temperance, and introspection. Page of cups. I feel like in here you're going to absolutely be absolutely exhausted this is gonna be a long day and a long night as well <laughs> all right so again afterwards you might enjoy maybe having some uh, food in uh, I, I don't know i've heard like pizza for those of you that enjoy maybe eating a good pizza then I, uh, here we go here you go but I, I feel like in here um the fun continues or something is gonna continue afterwards uh, maybe playing with each other maybe being cheeky i really feel like you are just a fun couple like <laughs> you tease each other you uh maybe talk about things that you have done or maybe things that happened or things that happened even before like during the day and uh, like there is going to be a lot of teasing and uh, a lot of laughter <laughs> love again wow <sighs> home i feel like you might wake up very late the day after because it I, i'm hearing that it's gonna be a long long night so you might enjoy each other uh, or maybe have like have your intimate moment and then afterwards you might enjoy other things or uh, you might eat certain foods that you might uh, like order and uh, a lot of things happening it really depends on each and every one of you but uh, i'm hearing with this card of the ten of swords you're not gonna really um realize when exactly you're gonna sleep it's just gonna happen like while you're talking or while you're watching maybe the tv you're gonna even leave it uh on because you're not really going to be um realizing that you have already like uh dozed off <laughs> or slept uh, this is really what I see. I feel like this is a long, long, long day of fun, of joy, of uh, again having uh, like a great time with each other. XOXO Dream. Yeah. I feel like again for many of you, you have dreamt about like having this kind of first time with a person especially with a special person uh, this is really a dream scenario for many of you in when it comes to maybe being with uh, a partner enjoying each other uh, for the first time in this place doing those activities that you're gonna do uh, this is really something that maybe even one of you is going to be confessing to the other like my dream is actually to enjoy my first time with my partner in a Disney resort and it is going to happen so this is really what I see <laughs> trust I feel like there is a lot um, like this energy of having almost like an energy boost generally speaking after this particular uh, time that you're going to enjoy with each other I feel like when it comes to you more specifically you might find out like out of the blue that oh my goodness I can work out all day I can like do all my chores I can uh, go to work and uh, ace everything that I want to do uh, you might really um uh, notice that you have a lot of energy and also i feel like with those two cards this is really something that is mutual and uh, also with this uh, card of trust uh, i feel like you're gonna really um, trust in the things that you might enjoy or the things that you would like to do that one day they're gonna come true and they uh, and that you're gonna meet the person uh, with whom you can share uh, the same things that you would love to enjoy. I feel like with this dream and with those two cards, 
that's your person they might uh, have the aspiration to um, like go to the same place that you want to go to or something of the sort all right so that was your reading my dear option number two if you enjoyed the reading make sure to tip and that was your reading i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time bye <laughs>
it's a very small thing that you're gonna do that is gonna be set, setting everything off like Again, there is a great emphasis on the feminine in here, sweetheart. In this dress. You might wear something without like a bra or something that even if it is like an actual dress, something that can show maybe your forms. Uh, as you can see in here in this card, there is this woman also that is wearing a dress that is uh, quite fitted to her forms. In here, like this woman is completely naked and this man is like, oh my goodness, what is happening? <laughs> and having his complete, she's having his complete attention. But I really uh, feel like, again, you might be doing something, just a change into your clothes. Or maybe you might have certain special, um, special clothes or special things that you're going to be preparing to wear for this particular trip. And it's really going to be uh, sending a message to them. And most importantly to their member really quickly <laughs> let's get some more cards how what is going to happen before please we can do it yeah it's really unexpected not in a way that you're not going to expect having like your first intimate moment with your person because this is the trigger, something that you both of you are going to expect but the way the time like it's not going to be expected <laughs> especially i'm hearing something spontaneous them getting really excited really quick again in here with this king of swords you can see with this air in fire and um yeah it is it's gonna happen really really quickly words of affirmation i'm hearing they're gonna tell you that you look gorgeous you look beautiful there is something uh maybe they're gonna compliment something about you uh, i also feel like this person they're really someone that is very sweet in terms of how they communicate to you uh, they give you a lot of compliments a lot of words of affirmation but definitely in here they're gonna be in awe of like how you look and um, again, they're not going to help themselves. Absolutely not. Uh, like in terms of their body, they're going to react uh, very quickly. <laughs> so let's get some cards right now about the actual act. How is this going to be like? How is the actual act going to be like this? How is it going to be? King of Cups. Wow, the moon. This person, they're really into you, first of all. They're really going to be into you. And you're going to know, like, uh, I, I'm hearing their erections. Uh, erection is going to be... Uh, <sighs> I'm hearing it's going to symbolize how drawn and how attractive they are towards you. And also, I feel like their um, orgasms, they're going to be uh, very strong. Ten of Cups, wow. The Emperor. I'm hearing with those with those cards that this person they would they are very eager into taking things to the next level with you like when you're gonna be together there's gonna be no questioning that this person they are into you they want to be with you this is someone that is quite demonstrative in terms not really with their words although they're gonna be very much uh, voicing their desire towards you in this particular moment but generally speaking they're really someone that, that is all about the action and in here i feel like when at this moment when you're going to be just the both of you it's going to be the exact opportunity for them to just uh, let themselves go and open their heart and just uh, confess to you everything that they feel towards you 
I feel like this moment is going to be really emotional. We have two emotion, very emotional cards in here, the Eight of Cups and the Moon card, which is all about like our deepest emotions. I feel like both of you might even uh, hug afterwards and maybe share some tears. I really feel like the, um, the actual orgasms are going to be, I'm hearing explosive, just like uh, in the first part of the reading, we had the tower card, which is a very strong card to get in a sexual reading. But in here, I really feel like there's going to be a lot of, um, I don't see a rapidity. I don't see things going fast uh, during the act. I see you taking your time. Uh, I'm hearing you really are going to be sensing every emotion. This is what I'm hearing. Uh, you really would like to savor, savor the moment, savor each other. And also, I really feel like uh, your person more specifically, uh, they see you getting together in this way, in this place where there's, they're just the both of you as an opportunity. I'm hearing to um, seal the deal or to um, like put things uh, in the right, I'm hearing in the right order. Uh, it could be that this person, as an example, if you're going to be casually dating, this is actually the time when you, both of you are going to be really solid with each other. For others, it really depends on how comfortable you are uh, during the process of getting to know someone to be actually intimate with them. But definitely, I feel like there is some sort of an emotional, I'm hearing an emotional upgrade or an emotional, uh, like um, a deepening of an emotional bond that you're going to have with each other. And it's really something that is going to cut the both of you out of, like by surprise. Like uh, maybe again, you might get emotional afterwards and it's not something that you're going to expect at all. Yeah, look at that. Again, a lot of emotions. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine. I feel like you might really enjoy looking at each other's eyes or just facing each other, generally speaking, like especially during the act, you might actually face each other, look at each other, look at each other's bodies, at each other's forms, and it's going to make you even more excited, I'm hearing. So, uh... Uh, I feel like there might be like almost discovering that even if you might have certain doubts before, you might really discover that you are absolutely compatible. So you might be really compatible in many other uh, aspects of your lives, but you're not sure about your the sexual part. But when you're going to get together sexually, it's going to be like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Like this is, yeah, yes. <laughs> So you might really discover, like, it's really out of surprise that you're really, really compatible with each other also sexually uh, in terms of maybe the actual maybe preferences or maybe the actual, um, like, intensity of it all, especially with those two cards. Um, yeah, I feel like there is a lock that is unlocked, uh, a door that is unlocked between the both of you when you're going to get together for the first time. Uh, when you're going to be with each other, uh, enjoying this intimate moment. Let's get some more cards. How are things? Oops, oops, oops. Let's get this one. Widow. again i really feel like seal the deal if there is anybody that you have known if there is any kind of look at that seal the deal this is a message like for them and for you this first encounter like sexual encounter that you're going to have with your future spouse it's really going to seal the deal again like if you have you're, if you're gonna have any sorts of doubts and it's very like normal for people when they get to know each other to have certain reservations let's get to know each other a little bit more let's know about this person like if they want that if they don't want that whatever the case might be i feel like in here it's like putting 
to rest anything that you have known in the past and now it's a brand new chapter i'm hearing like it's a brand new chapter and this in, again I, I really would like to look into maybe describing the actual act but your emotions and their emotions are coming off so strong that they are taking almost all the energies that are in here on the spread this is so emotionally fulfilling it's beyond what you could have imagined an actual sexual act to be and how fulfilling and how fitting it's going to be for you especially in terms of your emotions in terms of i'm hearing your heart chakra it's it's really going to be uh, like um again like a deep sense of fulfillment and a deep like afterwards you might even take a moment to actually recuperate or to uh, like recenter yourself like what just happened like what did we do like what is this so uh, again if there are any sorts of hesitation they are going to be put into rest like there is no hesitation like this is my person point blank period i'm hearing in here with this card of marriage <laughs> this is a clear message for the both of you so let's get some more cards how are things gonna be like during the actual acts please my dream is growing it is us growing together I really feel like when it comes to you, you might have certain, uh, like some sort of a hesitation that uh, it's going to absolutely disappear after this particular first uh, first um, sexual encounter with your future spouse. Because I really feel like when it comes to them, they got to already know. But they're not going to be in a rush to actually allowing you to make your own decisions or maybe to see the potential in the relationship that you're going to have in the way that they see it i feel like this person they might have like um, uh, a lot of experience or a lot like this um capability to see the potential yeah to see the potential and how things can go far when it comes to you two being together but definitely i feel like uh, contracts are going to be signed um uh, afterwards it, it's going to be only a matter of time you're not even going to talk about it you're going to understand it and they're going to know that you have understood that this is really a relationship that is an absolute gift for the both of you and this is in a way that it's not only like i have found my part like the partner or maybe the person that i want to spend uh, to be in a relationship with it's not really a relationship in a way that two people they want to get together just to build something or create something but uh, like this is um i'm hearing filling the blanks this is what i'm hearing i'm hearing um also with this number nine i i, I feel like this is the actual uh, puzzle piece that was missing maybe in previous relationships that you've had which is like this deepest deep emotional bond that you're gonna really have with this person and it's gonna be absolutely clear for you after this first act with your future spouse so how are things gonna be for you afterwards how are things are going to be for you afterwards? The devil. <laughs> I feel like you might uh, be a bit, um, again, hesitant at the beginning. But I feel like in terms of your sexual appetite, it's going to really increase like for the both of you. You might enjoy maybe the sexual act multiple times during this particular trip or in this particular uh, cabin in the woods. I feel like maybe you might enjoy it even like outside in nature. I feel like both of you are going to be in a pretty much isolated place when you're going to be free to do whatever you want to maybe uh, make the sounds that you want to make whatever the case might be you're going to be very comfortable just 
doing the things in the way that you want to do them. But in here with this devil, I feel like there's going to be great, great passion that both of you are going to recognize after your first act. Celebration, four of wands. King of Pentacles again. And the Queen of Cups. I really feel like afterwards, at the end, like when you're going to come uh, be on your way home, your person is going to ask you something. They're going to ask you, so when are we moving in together? <laughs> when are we going to be doing something? Like, when are we going to be taking this thing to the next level? And I really feel like when it comes to you, you're going to follow your heart this time. And your heart is going to be taking you exactly to your happiness, to your fulfillment. Uh, I really feel like it's going to be very much a surprise to you that you have actually... Um, allowed or maybe your heart have taken you to the right person that is actually that wants to be with you that wants to uh maybe uh i don't know why i always get uh, I, I never remember his name and i'm sorry um that marvel character the black panther i, I don't remember um the name of the actor but uh, he always like this king of pentacles always remind me of him uh, and I, I really feel like when it comes to you uh, you're gonna feel very um protected or that your heart is very much protected within this relationship it's gonna be much easier for me for you to make certain decisions that you felt like they were impossible to make in the past so if you have been reluctant to take things to the next level or for some of you some people have told you maybe you have uh, commitment issues or you have certain problems with actually maybe uh, settling down with people that you that uh, you were with or something of the sort but it's just like about the environment in which you want to be with someone I feel like when it comes to you you're gonna feel safe actually to open up to this person to allow your heart to fall very deeply for them because I feel like this person they're very sturdy they're very firm in terms of how they uh, connect with others and also how they uh, are there for you uh, I feel like this person they might um, prove them prove uh, with their actions that they are there that they're not someone that is there just for a period a short period of time but they have a genuine and great interest in being with you yeah, constancy. I feel like they're going to have, they're going to know. But now, like after this particular trip or maybe this particular, uh, like those days that you're going to share with each other, you're going to know as well. Uh, I'm hearing that they might even tell you at some point in time, I've, I've always known that we're going to end up together or that you are the one. You are my person. You are my partner. You are my wife or husband. Thief. I feel like with this card, this person, they're going to be actually uh, taking a spot that you have, that you didn't know that someone could actually take. If you're someone that is more stoic, someone that actually like is not really uh, lovey-dovey, uh, things are going to change. <laughs> I feel like you really are going to be... Um, looking forward into meeting this person again and wanting to spend time with them, wanting to meet them, wanting to connect with them. And again, with this devil, if you identify as someone that is not overly sexual, things are going to drastically change. Things are really going to change afterwards. You might really allow yourself to explore your sexuality, to be more um, allowing in terms of your own desire and also to be more expressive in terms of your voice, in terms of how do you move, how you uh, like um, pleasure yourself uh, even or maybe uh, allow uh, your person to pleasure you and allow uh, them to actually um, like uh, savor the moment as well uh, anything else anything else please trust meeting halfway imagination i feel like this person they're gonna be patient generally speaking maybe they're gonna know about certain things that you have been through or maybe you're gonna 
uh, actually allow yourself or maybe allow this relationship to flourish on the right basis on very strong basis and with this meeting halfway i feel like your person they might already be awaiting for you uh like um uh, it's almost like there is a bridge in your person they might be also already on the top of the bridge awaiting you to actually arrive because they're gonna already know like that uh, you are the person that they're gonna end up with you're the person that they want to marry and it's uh, something that almost they're gonna have a vision about or they're gonna trust their gut about all right so that was the reading my deal option number three if you enjoyed the reading make sure to comment down below in which messages you have enjoyed and also make sure to tip if you like the messages that i have conveyed to you and yeah, I'm sending you lots of love and I will connect with you next time. Bye.